Well guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about this little device. Yes, it's called a Pressy, and if you don't know what it is, you're about to find out. So let's do this. So here you go, this is the Pressy up close, up close and personal. So what you have here is basically a little tiny key ring, little piece of plastic holder. And let me open this up here and show you. So this is the Pressy. It's basically the end of a headphone, um, except for this headphone jack, you could say, has a little black button on the end that you can press and uh, that's why it's called the Pressy. Let me go ahead and show you how this functions. Basically what you guys do is you put this in your headphone jack on your cell phone and it becomes a programmable button. Yes, you heard me right. You have an extra button on your cell phone. Very, very cool, very simple. And this little piece is actually your holder for it when you wanna plug your normal headphones in and not use the Pressy button. You just slide this in here and it stores it for you. Um, it also goes on your headphones. You'll have to check that out as well. Let me actually show you that really quick. All right, so this is how this works. Here's a pair of headphones. If you have the press seat, basically you can take this little storage piece here and uh, just slide it onto your headphones. And then it actually even has a little slot there, if I can get it in, that the wire actually pushes into. Come on. There it goes. Shabam, like that. So now that stays right on your headphones very nicely. And, um, you know, you can uh, plug it in, store your Pressy right there, or plug in your headphones, whichever you want to do. So very, very cool. Let's go ahead and show you the application and show you how this functions. All right, guys. So here you go. Here's my headphones again. You got the little uh, Pressy button on here, which is uh, very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug or, you know, take this out of the device or the little storage container, whatever you want to call this thing. And here's your little button. And I'm going to show you guys the application. You do have to get this application installed. It is how you program your Pressy button. It's called Pressy. You can get it from Google Play. And, um, which is really, really pretty cool. So this is basically your starting interface. So we're going to go ahead and just slide the button into my headphone jack. Just take a second to push in there. Go ahead and you want to say is that Pressy or is it headphones or is it Pressy and headphones. I'm just going to say it's Pressy and for some reason that opened up. Alright so here you go you've got Pressy in there and you can see what's been pro or these are some of the options you can do and I'll show you some that I've already programmed. So here is like for example flashlight right there you can see that is one um, press and that's a short press. So if I press pressy once and you should be able to see my flashlight turn on. Pretty cool. And here I'll show you, you can see if you do a sh two quick presses of pressy it opens your camera. So one, two. And there you go, opens up your camera application. There it is. Um, and you kind of get the idea of how this functions. So let me uh, show you how to do some more programming on here. It's pretty cool. Um, so here's all your options. You can set up to call people on certain presses of Pressy. You can do messages. You can do camera stuff, video, recording, light. Light is your flashlight. You can see I've got things. You can tell it to be active when screen is off, which is pretty cool. Um, you can pick it to run an application. So right now I have it set up to run an application. I think I'm running my application, but you can pick whatever application you want to run with uh, a certain click. So let's say, for example, we want to open clock and we'll call it, we'll, we'll come up here and we'll call it clock. All right, and then we're going to choose right here it's trigger and we're going to say it's trigger is going to be we're actually going to just choose one click just just for example now i have flashlight as one click so there's going to be a conflict there and you'll see that in a second um and then i'm going to go ahead and hit this and it says okay 
and now you can see that the uh, flashlight got turned off. So to turn it back on, you can push this, and then it now turns off clock. So you can see that's how you can do it, or you can trash them with the trash can. So now we have one click activated for um, clock, so just do one quick click, and it should open the clock application. So I think you guys are getting the idea of how this functions. It's very simple. You just pick your presses. These are long presses. Um, I should have another long press. Uh, yeah, those are text and call. I have some long presses right there. So I'll show you this one really quick. This is kind of cool. So for a long press, one long press, you'll see what happens. This is going to send a predetermined text to my wife. And right there it says it. And then it should not next sent message sent. And she just got that predetermined text message that I have programmed for that. So, like I said, this is very, very cool, very fun. Lots of programming and cool stuff you can do with it. And a really nice interface, actually. I really like the interface. It's very, very cool. Um, I'm going to show you another one. This is pretty cool. You can do launch uh, dashboard. So we'll select that one. We'll pick its trigger. Uh, just for the simpleness of it, we'll do a uh, long click again. And again, that just removes the text message I did with a long click, and now it's going to do launch dashboard. And this is the Pressy dashboard. It has your brightness, your uh, play, fast or uh, next and, re and previous, your little information here and there, and all that kind of good stuff. And there's my wife responding to the text message I sent her. So, um, pretty neat. Like I said, there's definitely some fun customization in this Pressy application. And you can do a lot. You can set recording, um, all kinds of cool stuff. You can even do instant pictures, which is pretty neat. Just press the button once and it takes a picture. It doesn't even open the camera application. Um, so, there, there's lots of fun stuff you can do with it for sure. Very simple to use, very easy to set up. So, there you go, guys. That's going to be my overview here of the uh, Pressy. I will go ahead and give you guys links to where you can get one of these in the video description. They are very, very fun. Um, it costs about 25 bucks approximately to get the Pressy, and you kind of pay for the uh, app as well. It's part of buying the Pressy, but you have to have an activation code to use it. Um, and then you actually can use it with the headphones plugged in and use the little button right here on your headphones. Um, and it'll actually activate as like a press, like having a pressy in there. Um, very, very cool. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys like this video here on the pressy application and the little device. Definitely fun if you want to add another button to your device. This is how to do it. Very, very cool. That's going to be it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.